Welcome back to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 2. So, last time, <clears throat> or roughly last time, a recap if you've been away for a while. Or if you've never been here before. Uh, some of my ships stopped working so well. Um, the good news is, I have I traded for another type of weapon. It seems to be working. Well, actually, we haven't tried it yet. I hope it works better. It should. Uh, and I think we're going to find out next turn, because I've got one little protector dude there. And this ship is coming for him, and, uh, you know what? Let's just see for ourselves. He didn't win, but he did extremely well. That dude's got two hit points left. I think we just transfer old generic back there and have him take a crack at it. Alright. That was one of their battleships, and one of our defenders almost dropped it. So, you know... Imagine what a real fleet could do. Also, I'm upgrading. I discovered one of my ships, a legendary sword. It had 40 hit points. So that's, that's double what it started with because uh, it had survived so many battles. So it is in the middle of a long upgrade process, but I thought it would be worth it. Photon torpedoes should be a step up. I'm currently using photonic torpedo. Uh, seems like it's splitting hairs, but it's apparently more powerful. So... Um, I think I will go for that. Unless hardened hull design would be nice. Of course, large scale building would be nice too. I'm fairly content with my current ships though, so maybe we'll leave it at that. Um, Jerothean armor. Yeah. If I've learned one thing, it's that my armor is keeping me in the fight against those guys. Uh, and I'm actually doing pretty well at it, so... I'm going to keep on doing whatever it is I'm doing right now. Goodbye. Alright. We've got one more transport on Earth, I think. And so we're going to launch it. And come on down. I'm going to have to shipyard up a more advanced transport, actually. That thing can go warp 10. I want better than that. I have advanced uh, troop modules. They hold twice as much. And they're smaller, too, so I could really get a lot of troops on here. I think I am going to just put on two like I was doing before. Um... Because they cost a fair bit, and 2,000 really should do it every time, so I'm just going to load up engines after that. Like, if this thing could go, like, 15 in one turn, that'd be pretty amazing. Shrink you down just a bit for appearance's sake. Um... I suppose it would save a little bit of money if I went with a smaller version, because I think that's probably enough speed for a transport. Maybe not. Let's put on a couple more. And what else would be useful? Really good sensors. So. And finally, support. Where's my super advanced life support? There we go. And we've got a super long range, insanely fast, like 19 parsecs a week. That's good. So we will call it transport W19. Because that means it can go warp 19. Alright, you're obsolete. Done. Earth, get me some transport ships. sure what this dude's doing all by himself. I don't see him living. Apparently they figured that out. Alright. 
That one ship should be upgraded to a legendary sword too now, so it should be helping quite a bit. Vote. Looks like I've gained some votes. Or seats in the Senate, that's nice. If I went up to like more democratic forms of government, like to Star Federation or Star Democracy, um, it would become even harder to do things without winning votes because you have more votes. Everything's a vote. It's terrible. Um, so I guess that's pretty good. I don't like how my territory isn't connected there. I really miss having that star base there. Matter of fact, I may rebuild it eventually. And you're going to get it as an escort. And we're going to keep attacking this planet. This fleet's got pretty good firepower and really good defenses against their weapons, so... Yeah, everybody's even living. That's nice. New transport completed on Earth. Loaded up, boys. How's Earth's population? That's nice. It's got a lot of people on here, so it's always good that I can get the approval rating up by loading them all onto a ship going into combat. Let's watch this thing zoom. That was pretty good. Went from there to there. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna see if my ship's any good. Killed one of them. Oh goodness, it's not gonna make it. Yeah, got him. No, they got each other. Wait, but there's a red. Oh, I get it. Well, I thought something wrong. Well, that's okay. We've got an even faster ship coming to replace it with loaded with even more troops. So in a way, I won. Alright boys, avenge your comrade's death. Lost one. Well, lost one of the good ones too, that's no good. Troop transport, I want that one dead too. Alright. They've got a low approval rating, so... Well, that's not as effective as I'd like. I'm just gonna go with good old mini-soldiers. Even though, like, I should really... This should be an easy one. Knock on wood. Lost half my dudes. Hardened hull design, that's nice. So we've got some production plus 300%. It's not their manufacturing capital, which is too bad, but still. Can only get 36 mili military production, that's disappointing. Okay. This is going to be super industrial planet, I think, because, you know, with a unit like that. Um... Eventually, I wouldn't mind having a super project. Like, actually, I may just fill this place up with super projects. Um, or, sorry, galactic achievements would be nice. 
There's one other one I was kind of interested in. Hyperion Shrinker, there we go. So, let's let them do their thing and build some Protector 2s. There we go. 30 weeks? That's not very good. I think we tossed them all on board. <laughs> 